We have uh, one more clip that uh, was uh, downlinked earlier today of uh, experiment activities aboard the space station. Uh, this clip is with uh, Satoshi Furukawa as he is working with the commercial generic bioprocessing apparatus. Uh, this provides an automated uh, biological experiment processing system uh, in an uh, express rack. Express uh, stands for expedite the processing of experiments to space station. The uh, CGBA, as it's called here in Mission Control, can be fitted with customizable inserts and uh, provide highly accurate temperature control. There are different inserts that can be used uh, in the experiment apparatus. Uh, they can support small plants, uh, animals, and protein crystal growth experiments. Among the interesting uh, scientific results from this experiment in the protein crystal growth area are uh, the discovery of uh, an additional water molecule uh, that affects the development of uh, the disease Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. And scientists in Japan are using that new information to uh, look at new methods of treatment uh, for that disease. Furukawa here actually working uh, with the, one of the plant containers that was associated with that video we played a little bit earlier of the uh, plants in space uh, experiment. That's a, uh, a student educational experiment. And Satoshi, that looks great. Thank you. Furukawa getting a go from the uh, folks at the uh, Payload Operations Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center, uh, the NASA Center in Huntsville, Alabama, on his uh, preparation for that particular sample. Again, this work uh, took place uh, earlier this morning as uh, Furukawa worked with the uh, commercial generic bioprocessing apparatus experiment. The Plants in Space uh, project is uh, designed to show the uh, excitement of scientific discovery to students on the ground uh, as the plants spor sprout aboard the International Space Station. This uh, experiment is allowing students and teachers to examine root growth in microgravity and compare the results with uh, plants from their own ground-based experiments in the classroom. Central Station, mic on two for FIR closeout. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, they 
duck photos and inspection of that sample. Um, and of course, uh, while uh, Thorcom was working on this experiment, uh, Fossum was working on the uh, fluids integrated rack activity. We already showed you that, showed you that clip. Uh, in particular, uh, this experiment that we're looking at now with the uh, joint activity with the National Space Biomedical Research Institute is using uh, Brassica rapa plants, which are a common plant used in such experiments. They're uh, nicknamed uh, Wisconsin fast plants because they develop uh, very quickly uh, in uh, five-day trials. The uh, project uh, primary scientific goal is to investigate the influence of light on root orientation. Uh, the uh, researchers uh, also are very excited about the educational component of the research. And Satoshi, that's amazing video. Thanks so much. It looks great. According to uh, NASA International Space Station uh, program scientist Julie Robinson, more than 31 million students have participated in educational demonstrations on the space station, and more than a million students have actually done experiments that are linked to the space station. 